the partition of a nation which took lives of almost 500,000 people and made around 15 million homeless is still continuing to increase the hatred on either sides. Yes, it's India-Pakistan which is leaving threat to the entire world because of their cold war since the day of independence. Let's look into the exact picture of what consequences that led to the partition of United India. Was it really from the hearts of the people or the willingness of the enemy? It takes us back to the time when the INC, the Indian National Congress Party was formed in 1885. They were formed with the intention of protecting civilians and to make British quit India. When the British planned to divide Bengal into two states on religion basis, the INC had strongly opposed it. With this spark, Muslim heads had formed Muslim League, assuring all Muslims that they would not let any more attacks in the future. The main reason behind the formation of Muslim League was to oppose the INC for the power game. In the year 1930, Mahatma Gandhi proposed a unified India, but it was the rest of the INC members who refused to work along Muslims and that made Muslim League work harder to form a new and a separate Muslim nation. During Second World War, British came up with the proposal of giving independence to India if they let their troops fight for them on their behalf. But this proposal was denied by the INC as it was not willing to lose their people's lives as British betrayed with the same false promises during the World War I. But Muslim League accepted the proposal as they thought it would be easy for them to convince British for a separate nation. In 1945, immediately after Winston Churchill lost the power, Labour Party came into power. They declared that they would give independence to India and many other colonies under them. Muslim League leader Muhammad Ali Jinnah led many campaigns for the separate nation, whereas Jawaharlal Nehru worked for a unified nation. Once the independence was nearing, there was a civil war which started between the people of the two religions. In 1947, British agreed to grant independence to unified India in 1948, but it was not accepted. As the pressure started mounting, Indian independence was declared by dividing it into two different nations. India and Pakistan. As the North states comprised mostly of dominant Muslims, it was made Pakistan and the Bengal was named East Pakistan, now Bangladesh. Was it hunger for political power or to suppress a nation in all the aspects by creating a lifelong rift by the division? Whatever the reason might be, but it has turned into eternal war between both the nations. And no one knows how it's going to end.